The DF83 promises big with huge 83 millimeter burrs at a price you won't find anywhere. But can it deliver as big as it promises? Let's check out the Turin DF83. The DF83 really does open up a whole new category of home coffee grinder, offering that 83 millimeter giant sized burr set in an affordable single dosing package. And in this video, I'm going to show you all the pros and cons of the DF83 and help you figure out if this is the home grinder for you. Now, quick disclosure, this grinder was sent to me by Turin. They reached out to me and said, hey, love what you're doing on YouTube. Would you like a DF83 for your channel? Um, and I said, of course, <laughs> because there has been a lot of chatter going on about this grinder. However, there is no payment exchanging between me and Turin and they haven't reviewed this video, so they're seeing it at the same time you are. Now you may or may not know this, but the DF83 is actually the big brother to another grinder, the DF64, also made by Turin. And it takes the basic same form factor of the DF64, which uses a 64 millimeter flat burr set and upsizes it to this giant 83 millimeter burr form factor. It's got the same basic workflow and form as the DF64, but also a lot of improvements besides just the burrs. But I think we do need to start with those burrs. This is a super large size. Just look at how big these burrs are. They're 83 millimeters in size. And this grinder comes in at $699. And you just can't find that combination of this giant flat burr set for that low price anywhere. So we'll talk more about how those burrs affect the flavor of the coffee in just a second, but let's look at the rest of this grinder. Number one, this is a solid piece of equipment. It comes in at 23 pounds. It's got this big metal body painted, which is super nice. It feels like the finish is really nice. It's not cheap or flimsy feeling in any way. Um, the DF64, the little one, was vinyl wrapped, and it's nice to have this one in a uh, painted finish. Just kind of gives it that extra little bit of quality on it. The adjustment ring is very nice. It's stepless and it just feels really fluid when you're adjusting it. It also comes with this grind size indicator. That was a big complaint of the DF64 and that it didn't come with that. And a lot of people ended up doing aftermarket um, solutions, 3D printed parts to try and improve that aspect. So it's nice to see that included here. The power button is right here on the side and it glows this nice white. And when you turn this grinder on, let me just say, you can feel the power of the 550 watt motor. There is a lot of power hiding in here to turn those huge burrs. But because of the design, how heavy it is, the wide base, um, the grinder doesn't really shift around. Some other grinders, you'll turn them on and the torque will actually like move the grinder as it turns on. This one is very solid, like you can feel the power, but it doesn't really go anywhere. It doesn't move around as you're turning it on and off. Um, so that was nice to see as well. Um, one weird little thing is the power cable comes out the side, which is, I'm sure there was a good reason for that at Turin, why they decided to do that. I would have loved to have seen it come out the back. Um, I find just the side placement is a little bit awkward. I like the cables to be a little bit more hidden and a little bit more put away. So the workflow of using this grinder is very similar to the DF64. Basically, you take the cap off, you turn the grinder on, you dump your beans in, and they'll start coming out into the dosing cup here. And just as they're finishing up, you give it a couple pumps on the bellows. That pushes some air through and helps purge any beans that might be hanging out inside the grinder body all the way through. Retention is super low, like 0.1 to 0.2 grams, in my experience, as long as you're using the bellows. This dosing cup is nice in some ways. You know, when you're doing your, when you're loading your porta filter, you can see how the beans are distributed without having to peek underneath and look. And it comes with this dosing ring so that when you know you got the cup in here, it brings the level up of the dosing cup so that you're not gonna get a lot of static spraying out anywhere. You can also use this on your porta filter just by flipping it around. That's kind of a nice feature, nice to see that included. The inside of the grinder is nice and clean, tight tolerances, easy to take apart and put together, which is really nice for cleaning and calibrating. 
One really nice improvement of the DF83 over the DF64 design is it uses this wave spring washer instead of three springs, which really kind of serve to make cleaning, alignment, disassembly, reassembly a lot more fluid of a process. And that's something that every time you take the grinder apart to clean it, you're gonna see the benefit of that. It also does come with a hopper, which is kind of handy. So like if you wanna grind a whole bag of coffee, you can do that or if you just wanna keep it loaded, then you can use a hopper as well. Personally, I would recommend just doing the single dosing workflow. This grinder is kind of made for that and it just kind of works a little bit better that way in my opinion. So we got lots of good stuff going on here. Lots of improvements over the DF64, that crazy burr set and a relatively low price for an 83 millimeter burr set. But is this the grinder for you? And I think to that answer is, it depends. One thing that I missed about this grinder from watching videos, you know, I saw all the other videos that people had put out, I did a lot of research online about it, and I was just honestly not prepared when I opened the box, like, and you probably can't even tell from this video, to be honest, but this is a big piece of equipment. When you open this grinder, you're like, wow, that is a chonky grinder. It's just like, it's got this big body, it's, it's got a big presence, and if you want burrs in this form factor, that's going to be a compromise that you're probably going to have to make on the size. One other thing about this grinder that, again, is going to be a compromise for anything similarly is the volume. These burrs are loud, they spin quick, and they're loud to use. The exposed set screw on the grind size indicator, functionally, I get why it's there. You know, it allows you to move it and like, calibrate and re-zero your grinder like which you need to do but it just is not the most seamless execution also when you put a port filter into the gripper arms here it's a little loose which you know whatever that's fine but as soon as these rubber grippers kind of break off and deteriorate which i'm sure they will and they give you extras to be fair but you know i'm sure you're going to run out of those eventually you know, you don't want your portafilter like rattling out of here. I've seen videos of that with the DF64 and dropping your grinds all over the counter. Also this dosing cup, it's nice because you can see through it when you're loading your portafilter to know what, how your grinds are getting distributed, but it definitely feels like a little bit, like feels a little cheap, especially in comparison to the nice metal body of the rest of the grinder. This dosing ring is a nice add, but one thing that I noticed about this is when you use it on your portafilter and you turn the grinder on, it kind of rattles around on there. But here's the thing. No one of those things is really like a deal breaker. Like I would never buy this grinder because of this thing. They're all just kind of these little semi annoying compromises that have been made in most cases because of the price. Like the thing is so cheap for the burr set that you get. So if you end up getting this grinder, that's the trade-off that you're making. The DF83 kind of comes with an all-around burr set that works very well for both filter and espresso. I tested it on both and it was a really great grind for, you know, right basically through the advertised range. I found on espresso, it gave a lot of good sweetness to the coffee while still giving some more body maybe than other flat burr grinders, but without losing a ton of clarity. So it's kind of a really nice middle point. Like if you want maybe some classic profiles sometime, some more clear adventurous profiles other times, the burr set is well suited to that use. One thing that I loved is my grinder actually came pretty well aligned from the factory. Alignment can be you know, a bit of an issue, especially on lower price grinders. You'll probably still want to check the alignment if you end up getting one, but haven't seen a ton of complaints about that either. And if you want a video on burr alignment, just drop me a note in the comments and I'll put it on the list. What's really cool about this though, is you can take out the 83 millimeter burrs and drop in another set of 83 millimeter burrs. Now the DF64, the little brother with the 64 millimeter burr set, really kind of carved out this cool niche for itself in that you could drop any set of 64 millimeter burrs into the DF64 and get a wildly different grinding experience. And for this reason, the DF64 kind of saw this thriving community build up around itself of people trying different things with the grinder, had a very low price entry point, but also a lot of flexibility 
And so it kind of lended itself to that enthusiast, modder community of people who wanted to kind of tweak their grinders to get the flavor profile that they were looking for. And this grinder has potential to do the same thing in an 83 millimeter burr set. It gives you an affordable platform, solid burr out of the gate, but a lot of flexibility to add other 83 millimeter burr sets. There's already some great 83 millimeter options on the market and there's more getting released all the time. Now, if you are a busy parent or a busy person in general and espresso isn't your thing, you just want great espresso at home, you want a affordable grinder that does a good job in a small form factor, there are other options out there that might be better suited for you than the DF83. However, if you are just kind of like a magnet to that 83 millimeter burr set, you love the idea of kind of trying out a couple different burr sets and working your way to an ideal flavor profile, but you don't want to spend a ton of cash, this is a really great option. Now, I know this is never a very satisfying answer when it comes to product reviews, but when it comes to if this is a grinder for you, I gotta put the answer back to you. And I think based on what I've said, you're gonna know if this is a good option for you or not. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Make sure to let me know your thoughts there. If this video was in any way helpful to you, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time. Cheers.